ladies, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather, and today I'm excited to share 10 ways to style joggers. Some of these outfits are dressed up with heels and some of them are dressed down with sneakers. No matter how you like to wear your joggers, I'm sure you will find an outfit that inspires you in today's video because actually one of 2021's biggest trends is elevated loungewear and I'll have to say I'm a big fan. Make sure you listen to this entire video because the last look is actually my favorite pair of under $50 joggers. They are truly amazing. They are so comfortable. And actually throughout this entire video, there are several joggers that are very affordable. Also know this, if anything is ever on the expensive side, I will always be linking a steel version down below in my description box because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. If you would also hit that little subscribe button, I would be truly grateful. I'm actually trying to build my subscribers. I've almost reached 40,000 subscribers, so I just wanna say I'm so grateful for each and every one of you, and thank you so much if you're already a subscriber, and if you're not, I would truly appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's get started. Look number one are these amazing Alice and Olivia denim joggers. I'm literally obsessed with these denim joggers. Denim joggers is a big thing in 2021, and I'll have to say I'm really excited about it because I think it's just a unique take on denim. You guys know I'm a huge denim fan. I literally wear jeans probably like six or maybe five or six days of the week, so I'm definitely a denim expert. I just did a video on the 10 best pairs of jeans to wear in 2021. So be sure and check that out. I will link that video down below. But these jeans, I would say they are high-waisted, but they're not like crazy high-waisted. They're more of like a nine and a half inch rise. So to me, it's almost like a mid to high rise. So if you're someone who doesn't like like that super high rise, then you're gonna really love these Alice and Olivia denim joggers. I love the really cool faded wash, also, the cuffs, the gray cuffs around the ankles puts a really unique touch on these jeans. They really are denim. So I've seen some designers make denim joggers out of like softer, like sweatshirt material, if you will. And I feel like those look a little, a little frumpy possibly. So these, since they are true denim, they might not be as comfortable as a true pair of joggers, but I think they just look more elevated. They look more polished and put together. Like I would totally wear these out to dinner with some fabulous heels. What I style them with is what I'm wearing right now, this cozy, soft, Chelsea 28 sweater. It's available on the Nordstrom website. It is under $100. I absolutely love this gorgeous, like uh, mauve light pink shade. Actually, pastels are another big trend in 2021. So this sweater is right on trend. The price point can't be beat. Again, under $100. And it is crazy soft and crazy comfortable. One thing I always look for in my sweaters is I make sure they're not itchy. And this one is definitely not itchy. So you can check that off your list if you're the same. Like it's my pet peeve to put on a sweater and it's if it's itchy. You could certainly wear this alone. I just, you know, as you can see, the jogger styled with this sweater alone is super cute. I did these ivory Bottega Veneta heels. These are definitely an investment, but I know an ivory mule, I will be wearing a ton this spring and summer, so I know I would be getting my cost per wear out of them. However, if you don't wanna spend that kind of money on a pair of heels, I totally get it. I did find a great dupe on the Shopbop website. You guys, these look almost identical to the Bottega Veneta mules, but they are a fraction of the price, and I would highly recommend adding a pair of ivory, low-heeled mules to your shoe collection this spring and summer. I promise you will wear them a ton. I know that I already have, and I've only had mine a short time. You could, like I said, wear this look alone, but if you wanted to elevate the look a little bit, I always preach um, adding a third layer, aka adding a jacket, will just automatically bring any look up to the next level. So I might go meet a girlfriend for dinner tonight, and if I do, I will certainly be adding this beige Eero leather jacket to my look. I love this leather jacket because it's a bit different than your average leather jacket because the sleeves are a dolman shape, meaning they're a little bit bigger. 
bigger. So if you want to wear a chunky sweater underneath this leather jacket, you can easily do that because I feel like a lot of leather jackets, unless you size up in them, it's really hard to layer a sweater under them because it kind of gets bunched up and it's too tight feeling. But since this jacket is a bit bigger on the top, it's more of a modern fashion forward cut, it is easy to layer over a chunky sweater. So this is what I will be wearing to dinner tonight. I think it's fabulous. All right, another way to style these Alice and Olivia denim joggers is with this amazing camel puffer jacket. So I did show this look recently in one of my videos, but I wanted to show it again because I've sold a ton of these camel puffers because this jacket is literally one of my favorite jackets. I absolutely love this neutral camel shade. Another big trend in 2021 are not only puffer jackets, but also neutral shades. So this jacket is not only on trend, but it is also just a fabulous neutral color that will literally go with everything. It's also a really good price. It's by Karen Kane. So she's a really phenomenal designer, but her prices are not through the roof. However, her pieces are very high quality. I've literally worn this jacket Jacket, like five days in the last week because it's that good. And then I obviously styled it with the same Alice and Olivia denim joggers. I wanted to show you all the versatility of these denim joggers. And I did the same ivory mules proving their versatility as well. Because if you haven't noticed, I like adding things to my closet. I can wear multiple ways in multiple times, making sure I get my cost per wear. And you should be doing the same thing as well. Now, I also did a white bodysuit. I love bodysuits because they stay tucked in. They also have a very slimming effect and I thought it looked amazing paired with these denim joggers. All right, the next way to style joggers in 2021 is with a hoodie and a puffer jacket. So if you were to get on Instagram or Pinterest for that matter, and you saw celebrities or like mega influencers, like influencers with like 500,000 followers or more on Instagram, you would see them style their joggers this way with a hoodie. So this is a matching hoodie and jogger set by Cotton Citizen. I tried on a ton of different joggers and Cotton Citizens were the winners because they are more slim fitting. So I feel like since last year with COVID coming on, a lot of designers started making joggers and they have perfected the jogger silhouette because now they're finally making them actually flattering because they're making them high-waisted and they're cutting them a lot slimmer than your typical jogger that can end up looking very frumpy. Like I said, I tried on tons of joggers, these ones by Cotton Citizen hands down fit the best and they are absolutely the most flattering, which is why I bought them in like four different colors. I bought this color, I bought camel and black and I think another color because they're just amazing. They're so comfortable and again, they're very flattering. This is the matching hoodie set. Now, it is a bit on the expensive side, but I did find a great dupe, a matching hoodie set, the hoodie and the pair of joggers by Blank NYC. It's a very similar tie-dye print with neutral colors, but it's a fraction of the price. So I would recommend either one of those sets to you. Then you top it with a really cool puffer jacket. This puffer jacket I'm wearing is actually faux leather. It's amazing. It was in my winter wardrobe, uh, winter capsule wardrobe. So I will be sure and link that video down below as well. But it's, it's very warm. It's very comfortable. I love the fact that it's faux leather. So it's very on trend because faux leather is another hot trend in 2021. Of course, you can't go wrong with black because it literally matches everything. And then the key to this look, I love it paired with these combat boots. These are old, they're by Giovanni Rossi, but I will link a similar pair of heeled combat boots down below in my description box. I personally love a combat boot with a heel because combat boots are very masculine. And so for me, I feel like my style is a bit more feminine, although it is still edgy. So I feel like a heeled combat boot kind of represents that edgy yet feminine style because a combat boot with a heel really does incorporate those two, those two things, which I love. All right, the next look are these amazing black Cotton Citizen joggers. So again, I told y'all I got these in several different colors because the fit was amazing. Again, high-waisted and, and slim fitting, so they're actually very flattering. So I paired them with this really comfy and cozy fleece by LPA available on the Revolve website. I love this neutral color. I think this fleece is amazing. And then I just did some sneakers 
in a suede rag and bone baseball cap. I love this baseball cap. I wanted a hat that I could wear, obviously dressed down with sneakers and joggers, but sometimes if I wanna wear like denim in a pair of sneakers or even some booties, I kinda wanted a hat with no logo on it. So I found this really cool hat by Rag and Bone and it fits really well. That's something I needed it was a baseball hat that wasn't too big. This one fits perfectly. I do kind of have a small head, just FYI, but it is adjustable and I think it is super chic being black and being suede. Also, this sporty chic sort of combination is also another big trend we're seeing in 2021. But I highly recommend this fleece. Again, it's cozy, soft, and I love the neutral color. This look would be perfect if you're gonna meet a girlfriend for coffee on Saturday morning or something like that. You wanna be super casual, but you still wanna look very chic. I think this would be the perfect look. Okay, the next way to style joggers is with a really cool cardigan set. So this cardigan set is from Bandier. Cardigan sets are another big trend in 2021. I love this cardigan set because again, it is the neutral shade, so it's gonna go with so many things. Also, it is literally insanely soft. Like, it feels like you're wearing a blanket. It's so soft. I love the little shell underneath. If you're not comfortable leaving the cardigan open, then you can certainly button the cardigan and sort of wear it just plain. Or if you wanna be a little tastefully sexy, you can drape the cardigan off your shoulder like I have here. Like I love the versatility of this cardigan set again, because you can leave it unbuttoned, pair it with a pair you know, of high-waisted joggers like I have here and you won't show any skin at all. I am five foot four, so I am a bit on the petite side. If you're taller than me, then you might end up showing some skin, so you might wanna button the cardigan. It's just sort of up to you. And then I just did um, the, the Alice and Olivia Ivory joggers. These are high-waisted. They're incredibly soft. Again, the cut, the silhouette is very flattering. It's very slim cut. So these joggers are actually, you know, create a very flattering silhouette. They're going to make you look taller. They're going to make you look slimmer. And I love this neutral beige shade. They will literally go with everything and it's a lighter shade. So I think it, these will really transition well into spring and even summertime. And then I just did the same Bottega Veneta mules because again, they're very versatile, very functional, very wearable also because the heel height is so low. And I did link a similar pair like I talked about earlier, a great dupe version that look very similar to these Bottega Veneta mules, but they are a fraction of the price. Another way to style joggers, these are the same Alice and Olivia Ivory joggers. I actually also put this look in one of my recent videos, but I wanted to feature it again because it is one of my favorite looks I've put together in 2021. I'm literally obsessed with this outfit. I actually wore it out on a date night the other night and my husband really loved it. So I think this is a really beautiful look that is obviously elevated. This is probably the most dressy look of all of the 10 looks. So if you're going out to dinner, if you're going out on a date night or a girl's night out, I think this would be a very statement making, fabulous look to wear. Um, again, I loved it. I paired the joggers with this beautiful Alice and Olivia white teddy coat. This coat is statement making. It's a head turner. It's phenomenal. This is a really amazing monochromatic look. So another way to not only look taller and slimmer, but to make a statement is to wear a monochromatic look, especially in a white or all ivory or all neutral look in the winter and spring. So I absolutely love this look. Again, the same Bottega Veneta mules, the same white bodysuit. So as you're seeing in this video, I've got a lot of these pieces repeating themselves because I wanted to show you all that you could wear them multiple ways, which is usually when I buy something, I make sure I can wear it at least three ways before I buy it. That's another little style tip for you ladies. I did find a great dupe for this Alice and Olivia Teddy Coat. It is by Blank NYC. It is amazing. It's just as soft, just as cozy, and just as statement making. However, it is a fraction of the price. I actually just shot this coat with my Chic at Every Age girls yesterday. We all wore the coat. So we had this coat. We're going to style it four different ways in our Chic at Every Age blog post, which will be up on my blog, which is SoHeather.com. It will be up on my blog next Friday. So stay tuned for that. All right. This is another amazing way, yet casual way 
to style jogger. These joggers are by Cotton Citizen. Again, my favorite brand of joggers because they're very slim fitting and they're very flattering. I love this olive green and camel and cream tie dye combination. I think tie dye is, can be very youthful looking, too youthful looking, unless it is made up of neutral tones, which is why I loved this neutral tone tie dye combination so much. Again, these joggers are super comfortable and also very flattering. What I paired them with is this under $100 faux leather jacket by Blink NYC. I loved the puff sleeves. I actually saw Retrofay do a jacket almost identical to this, but it was real leather and it was $1,000. So since this one is by Blink NYC and it is faux leather, it is $98. So what a steal, what a great deal for such a fabulous jacket. You could certainly wear this jacket with denim and heels or denim and boots. There's tons of ways you could style this black faux leather jacket. And then I just did some sneakers because I wanted to make sure I included some very casual looks and ways to style joggers in this video. These are gold studded golden goose sneakers. I absolutely love golden goose sneakers. Y'all know I'm a big fan. I will try to link these exact ones down below if they're still in stock. But if not, I will link some other similar golden goose and then also, of course, some amazing dupes for y'all. All right, the next way to style joggers is with a black leather jacket. So these joggers, again, Cotton Citizen, they're camel in cream, this sort of tie-dye slash marbleized um, print. I think it's really cool. I loved this camel color. I'm literally obsessed with anything camel, I think. So I loved this. I just did a simple black redone tank. And then this is a black leather jacket by Lamarck. I love this leather jacket because again, it's more of that modern fashion forward cut, meaning the sleeves are bigger. So this jacket just looks really cool. It's a bit on the cropped side, but not too cropped. Again, I'm five foot four for reference, but I love the fact that the sleeves are bigger. I feel like that's the way the leather jacket trend is going. So this leather jacket is very on trend. And also Lamarck makes a phenomenal leather jacket. It is real leather, but instead of being like, you know, a thousand or twelve hundred dollars, like some real leather jackets can run. This one's around five hundred dollars. So I think that's a very good price for a real leather jacket. Now, if that's out of your budget, no worries. I will link a blank NYC black faux leather jacket that's just as fabulous and it's only $98. And then I just did the same Golden Goose sneakers I had on earlier. This is a very casual look, but it's a little elevated because I did add the leather jacket. So you could wear this, you know, uh, up to meet your girlfriend for coffee in the afternoon. You could wear it on a casual date with your husband. Like the possibilities are endless, but I just think this, are, this is a really cool and edgy way to wear joggers. All right, look number nine are these amazing express joggers. Now these are under $100. Sometimes they're on sale for even under $50. So what a great deal. These are a light wash denim. They're very high waisted. Now I will say this, the really cool thing about these joggers is that you can order different lengths. So you can order, I guess, long, short, and medium, I think it is. And I ordered the short and I will say, I wish I would have ordered the regular because the short, I feel like they look okay, but I wish they were just a little bit longer. So keep that in mind on five okay. foot four. I ordered the short and I wish I would have gotten the regular, but anyway, just food for thought. I think they're fabulous. Again, the price point is amazing being under a hundred dollars. They're very comfortable. Again, the denim jogger specifically, that trend is another really big trend we're seeing in 2021. And the price point on these joggers can't be beat. So I highly recommend them because they're actually very soft. They're a lot more comfortable than the Alice and Olivia denim joggers, but I would say the Alice and Olivia denim joggers are more elevated looking because they are in fact real denim where these express denim joggers are not certainly not real denim. They're more like a soft denim like material, if you will. And then I just did this light blue skims bodysuit. This bodysuit is amazing. It is probably the most comfortable bodysuit I own, which is why I also ordered it in the nude and in the white. It is also like $68, so what a great price. It's a great wardrobe basic that will go a long way. I preach about wardrobe basics, okay. you know, because I just think they make any wardrobe more functional and they will alleviate that dreaded feeling of, oh my gosh, I have nothing to wear. I just did a video on that, so I will be linking that down below, but highly recommend this gorgeous bodysuit by Skims. 
And then I just topped it with this ivory denim jacket. This is by A Gold E. I love this denim jacket because it's a bit oversized, so it's very fashion forward. I love it. I've had it for over a year now, but it is still available and fully stocked. So highly recommend this ivory denim jacket. I think this would be another great piece that would transition really well into spring and summer. And then I just did the same ivory mules, like literally I've worn them with almost every look in this video, proving their versatility and wearability. Okay, the last look, the one that y'all have been waiting for, these under $50 joggers are amazing. They're from the Nordstrom website. They're by Treasure and Bond. I love them because they're super comfortable. They actually come in two washes, the one that I'm wearing and then also a, a, a different wash. It's more of like shades of gray. So I think you can't go wrong with either one because they're both very neutral shades. And then I did this amazing Free People Teddy Coat, Teddy Jacket, if you will. It is so soft. Like it's literally the softest jacket I own. It's another jacket along with that camel puffer I talked about earlier that I bought like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and I've literally worn it like 10 times because it's so comfortable. It's so soft. It is on sale on the Dillard's website. It's on sale for like $75. So what a great deal for this really cool Free People jacket. And then I did some sneakers. So this is a super casual look. And I did these Alexander McQueen sneakers. These are white platform sneakers. I love the gold detailing in the back. I think a white sneaker is a great shoe that you could add to your shoe collection in the spring and summer and literally wear all the time. Now, if these are out of your budget, I will certainly be linking a budget-friendly version down below. But those were the joggers, 10 different jogger style, 10 different ways. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite look was because I always love hearing from y'all. For more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. You guys have a beautiful day, and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.